Hello guys, girls, and dank memers. The Squire here, and today we're going to get some insight on the new champion, Kindred. Personally, I'm excited to see this new champion because I think she's going to shake things up a little bit. Being a marksman that's designed for the jungle creates a lot of new interesting opportunities, as well as I believe she brings a lot of unique utility to the table that hasn't been seen before. First of all, we'll go over some key points of her abilities as well as the numbers attached to them. Uh, if you do want to see the full rundown, I will link the reveal page and the surrender at 20 posts below. Let's start off by looking at her passive. It's important to note that the first hunt starts at 230. Also, there is no cap in general on the amount of damage that can stack up, but there is a limit of 6 jungle camps. Some important milestones to keep in mind are for the jungle camp limit, you're sitting at about 7.5%, and 8 hunts total will get you to 10%. Also, it is really cool that she chooses which champ she's hunting. This is on about a 90 second cooldown. This mechanic is incredibly interesting because especially in high elo play, as well as competitive matches, it adds a very strong psychological pressure to the enemy team. Now onto her key damage ability, her Q. An important thing to keep in mind is leveling does not reduce the cooldown or change the mana cost. Also, there is a difference of 120 damage from rank 1 to 5. It does not apply on hit effects such as crits, life steals, things like that. And it can be used to jump most walls, which is great for Baron and Dragons as a jungler. Much of Kindred's jungling power comes from her W. Her ability to sustain comes from her W passive, which gives a flat heal that scales with champion level once it charges up, kind of similar to Yasuo's shield. Wolf will also join Lamb if she leaves the area, so keep that in mind. By maxing this ability, you get minus 4 seconds off the cooldown and 20 extra damage per hit on Wolf. Keep in mind, Wolf's attacks do not crit or apply on hit effects. Another important thing to note is Wolf's attacks do 40% of the passive damage as well. This ability is incredibly powerful because when your Q is used inside the area, it reduces the cooldown to 2 seconds. Now on to Kindred's only CC ability, her E. A key point here is that the slow is the same percent at all ranks, so maxing it has no effect. By maxing it, you do get a 4 second shorter cooldown and 120 extra base damage. Sadly, the proc cannot crit or apply on hit effects, but does do percent HP. Saving the best for last, we have Kindred's ult. This ability has crazy CLG levels of potential. There are lots of small things that you really need to keep in mind. When cast, friends and foes cannot drop below 10% of their health. Also, it does not only stop damage, but healing as well. Another interesting piece about her ult is that it includes monsters and minions, allowing for some very interesting dragon and baron fights and potential smite blocks. Now let's do a numbers breakdown. We're going to look at what gives Kindred the best possible DPS while her W is active for the 8 second period. Max and Q gives 180 damage on a 2 second cooldown, allowing for 4 uses in the 8 second period for 720 damage. A W Max instead gives 45 damage per wolf attack, using 1 attack per second gives us 360 damage over 8 seconds. To total the numbers out, Max and Q gives 920 damage over the 8 second period, whereas Max and W gives 600. Since the slow on E is static and doesn't change per level of the ability, I do not think it should be max first. So an ideal skill order would be to max your Q, then your W, then your E with points in your ult whenever possible. Lastly, I want to quickly touch on the psychological part of Kindred's passive. Junglers are all about pressure, and this allows Kindred to apply great amounts of pressure to any lane she wants. Especially in competitive play, the person marked will have to consider the risks of being ganked and play much safer. This can be used to help a team's laners against someone who just hit a very strong power spike, such as a trinity force or things like that. The enemy will either have to play safe or call Kindred's possible bluff and risk being ganked. Overall, I believe Kindred will be a very strong champion. The utility provided by her passive and ult alone is enough to make her viable. We will have to see how things go when Kindred is released. But as for now, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, leave comments and give me feedback and tell me how I can get better.